Today, I'm using the Getty Dubay app to practice the lowercase b. b is a member of the family of italic lowercase letters that contain the inverted italic a shape. That family also includes the letter p. We're using a 9mm body height to start, which corresponds to the line spacing you would typically find on elementary school ruled line paper. Start by tracing the model. Letter B begins at the ascender line. The ascender line is half the body height above the waistline. Breathe out as you draw a nice straight line at a 5 degree slope all the way to the baseline. Retrace that stroke up to the branching line. The branching line is the imaginary line halfway between the baseline and the waistline. From there, branch to the right to touch the waistline with a soft rounded angle. Then arch back, down to the baseline to the right of where your vertical line is. Transition to connect to that point with a horizontal line along the baseline. There are no loops or lifts in this one-stroke letter. Notice that letter B is very similar to an upside-down Q, except for the final upward serif on the Q. Let's practice more by tracing the dashed line model. From above the waistline, move downward to the baseline. Move upward to the branching line. Branch upward to the waistline, then downward in an elliptical curve. Close the shape horizontally on the baseline. That was the rehearsal. Now comes the performance. Look at the counter shapes within a letter. The space between the lines of your letter helps make it legible. The lowercase b has two counters, the large internal oval-like shape and the little triangle. All italic inverted A-shaped letters contain these signature counter shapes. Some common mistakes with the letter b are having it float above the baseline or not meet the waistline, making the counter too rounded, branching too early, or adding a loop. How wide should you make this letter? Aim for a width that matches your lowercase n. In fact, the body of B fits inside the same golden rectangle that most other lowercase letters do, including N and Z. Moving on to cursive italic, letter B remains exactly the same. Joining into B is the same as joining into L and H. When joining out of B, you can retrace that last little horizontal back, then angle up to greet any other letter except lowercase f. Notice that we've switched to a 5 mm body height, using a line spacing that is slightly narrower than college-ruled paper. No matter what slope you use for your handwriting, be sure that the slope is consistent within the letter and is parallel with all other vertical strokes. It is very important to build self-assessment skills as you go along. Is the letter B a single stroke with no loops? Does the curve meet the downstroke at the branching line? Is the B the same width as letter N? Look at your work. Circle your best letters. Underline letters that you would like to improve. Then plan your future practice.
This video is not intended as a complete handwriting guide. Use Getty Dubay books and materials for comprehensive instruction. If you have the Getty Dubay Handwriting Success app, the Right Now book, or the Getty Dubay Italic Handwriting Series Instruction Manual, you can explore the rich history of letter B as it evolved from the ancient Egyptian symbol for house through the Greek beta all the way to modern italic.